Hi, I'm Bobby Likas, and uh, I own and operate Bobby Likas Car Clinic Service Pre-Repair, which is a full-service, 43-year automotive service facility here on the Gulf Coast of Florida. In addition, I host Bobby Likas Car Clinic, America's largest car talk radio program on commercial radio. And through our years of servicing more than 200,000 cars in our 43 years in the automotive service, and building race cars, and uh, driving race cars, and, and building racing engines, I just love technology. And it is that love of technology that really drives me. In this position, in this case, I get to drive a high-tech vehicle, the new Cadillac ELR. And if you're not considered an electric automobile, the ELR just may change your mind. Let's get in and take a quick look at it. Remember, the ELR costs about $1.50 for a full charge. You can drive it to work, plug it in, drive your short distances around town up to 38 miles on all electric. And you don't have to worry about range or range anxiety. If you want to travel across country, it has a gasoline engine that takes over where the battery leaves off and you can dictate just how much battery you leave. So if you get best gas mileage on the highway, you run your gasoline engine, and then when you get to work or you get in town, you let it switch over to the battery and where you get tons of gas mileage, uh, e-mileage out of the battery combination. So let's take a ride, take a look on the inside of the new Cadillac ELR. It's really exciting. You can see from the lower ground level that it's a real powerful looking automobile. And going down the highway, even at 50 miles an hour, it looks like it's going 70. It's just a bullet as it felt to me. Uh, the battery uh, is low in the chassis, so the center of gravity is low in the chassis, and when you steer this car, you feel it uh, steers flat. And when I say flat, it has a very taut feel. The engine has great power and delivers uh, an MPG on top of that. As I mentioned, I love technology, and Cadillac's customer user experience is an experience in and to itself. And uh, I will share this with you. Number one, this is not like any other car review that you're going to have, because I drove this car, my wife and I, some 800 miles. And that 800 miles offered me the opportunity to learn the system. And normally when you buy a new car, you read the owner's manual. I did. Uh, normally when you buy a new car, you experience some anxiety with trying to learn all the electronics. I did. But I will tell you, after you understand, and I think that's very important to remember, after you understand how this architecture works on this system, as you can see, I'm scrolling through the presets of the radio right here. There are uh, 18, 20 presets. What is really neat about this is you can go from 88.1 FM to uh, 63 uh, XM Sirius Radio uh, to uh, other stations AM. So you can, without having to switch from one band to another, you can go from your presets, and your presets do that automatically. You have to learn that. But once you learn it, you got it. Uh, the navigation system. Also, uh, works really well. You put in the address, and then, you, you know, it's like a typical navigation system, and you just say go. Uh, w what I would like to have seen is the points of interest along the way, because I was looking for gas stations to make sure that uh, I had plenty of gas. The car holds uh, just over nine gallons of gas. It's got a range of 240 miles on a, a charge and, and a tank of gas. So uh, range anxiety is not, as I said, it's not a real uh, challenge, except that you need to know where the uh, stations are. And I found that unlike other navigation systems, it didn't show the points of interest until I got really really right on them. And whereas most stations will show uh, two miles out, 10 miles out, 15 miles out. Uh, it did pair very easily with my phone system. And uh, there are some 6,500 uh, contacts in my phone. And as, as far as I know, they're all in that car right now. They, they downloaded and, and um, went right into that. So if I wanted to make a call, I would just say, uh, call home, call work. And it worked really well. 
Uh, as you can see here, this is really a neat, this is the battery power. And as you're driving down the road, let me back up. You can charge level. When I park the car, I always put it on 12 amps. The challenge here is you have to do that manually because it defaults to the 8 amp. Uh, I would like to see the engineers leave the default uh, out and let it stay where the user uh, sets it. And the reason at 12 amps the car charges a lot faster with a plug. And yeah, you have to have a, a 15 amp circuit, but most garages have 20 amp circuits anyway, so that's not a problem. What I like most about the car is the technology. What gave me the challenge on the car? The technology. But that's a, a part of just having a brand new high-end automobile luxury car that's battery powered and electric state of the art. Here you can see the cluster. The, what I really liked about the cluster was you could customize. And if you look, you've got the, the center, which is the XM loading, and to the left you've got a sidebar, to the right you have a sidebar. What's important for you to remember is that on the steering wheel there's a rocker switch on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. You rock that switch to the left, and it will, just like you see here, and it will bring up a menu. And then you can toggle up or down. And once you know that, then you can go into those toggle areas. It's like much like the folders uh, in a directory folder in a computer, which is uh, basically the same thing. This gives you road trip time. As you can see, I had six hours and 31 minutes one way on this particular trip. And once you go to the center... Then you can scroll up, you have the average speed, you have the miles per gallon, you have the tire pressure, you have the oil, uh, remaining oil, and then you have uh, road trip A and road trip B. Now I rock back over, I go to the audio side, and then once I'm in the audio side, I can toggle to the right, see, see that comes up on the right, then I go AM, FM, XM, Pandora, or Bobby's iPhone. So those are really neat, and then I can browse, and you can do all this without taking your eyes off the road, you just glance down at the, at the cluster. So that part I really like. You go back over to the menu, and you select another, uh, and in fact, here we are. This is the the actual cluster itself. You can see this is on classic. Then I go to modern enhanced, and that, that's what modern enhanced looks like. Then we go to classic enhanced, and then we can go to modern without the enhancement, and then classic. What I would recommend for new owners would be to use the classic, which is not quite so high tech, and each sidebar is free of any clutter or any icons so that it's less confusing and you, until you learn the car. The bottom line here on the Cadillac ELR is to understand how the architecture works and then use that to enjoy the automobile and truly on the highway you will enjoy it. The interior is absolutely out of sight. As you can see here it's multi-layers. I mean you know we all like leather. We all like wood. Carbon fiber, it depends on the application for me. I love carbon fiber, but, it, you know, I think of race cars and space shuttles. And here we have the Cadillac ELR with suede, leather, wood, as you can see here, and carbon fiber. And that's real wood and real carbon fiber. I will tell you, the interior wrapped in luxury, the ELR hits a home run, and when you pull into the driveway, your neighbors are gonna say that is one sporty, beautiful machine. Well, our time's up. Gotta give the car back. The car's going back to Cadillac now. I, I think I just may go to the local Cadillac dealer and take a look at uh, the different color, maybe. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll maybe build one of these for my taste and drive it and keep it versus then having to just road test it and give it back. It's been a whale of a ride. The Cadillac ELR handles. The steering is precise. The brakes are right on, spot on. The adaptive cruise control allows you to latch onto the car in front of you and ride with ease. You don't have to worry about speeding or getting tickets. It's just a phenomenal vehicle from bumper to bumper. If I were to change one thing, I would add a deck lid automatic open and close. Other than that, sign me up. Bobby Likas and the ELR Cadillac.